Never have I ever walked out of a movie because he was bad. I... <laughs> no one ever made a difference by being like everyone else. This is it! I'm here with the amazing Michael Gracie and Kiala. I love you both so much. I just want to begin by saying this. You posted this on Twitter yesterday. When I walk into my trailer for the last time and hear Whitney singing on the radio, I was not built to break. I didn't know my own strength. <laughs> honey, oh, no. honey, I can prepare. Do you see no. this? That's Whitney. That's Whitney there. I'm not scared. Who's that? And what is your act? I don't have an act. Everyone's got an act. I need to get your name right, because in Malaysia, we know you as Zendaya, Zendaya, Zenduya. I know, Zendaya. Zen Zendaya. Zendaya, Zendaya. Yeah, okay, it's okay, good. everybody. You swing a lot in the movie. Yes. I just need to know how you swing, and what did it take for you to swing, because the only swings I'm good at, honey, my mood swings. Yeah, <laughs> I really me swing too. That well. Listen, <laughs> uh, I understand you uh, on that. Um, no, but uh, swinging was difficult, because obviously I've never done trapeze before, never something I thought I'd do ever in my life. Um, but I'm glad that this this um, specific job pushed me to try something new. The song I heard it was written in an airplane. Is it true? Mm -hmm. Was it? it and, true. and also, you didn't want to sing the song at first. I, I really heard did not. You had to get a little whiskey. No, let me get, get that story. Let that's me tell you. That's two different stories. Here's the story. Here's oh, the story. Yes, okay. it was written in an airplane. <laughs> and it was one of the last uh, few songs that was written for the actual film. Okay. Um, and when they presented it to me to sing as a representative of the oddities, I heard it and I said, that's beautiful. Who's singing it? And Michael and Justin and Ben said, well, you are. And I said, no, I'm not. But I'll sing soprano on it for you if you need backup people, whatever. And they said, no, you're going to sing it. And I asked. No, I didn't. I demanded. I said, I will not sing this song <laughs> for the presentation unless you buy me a bottle of Jameson. They did, but I didn't drink it until after I was done with the presentation. And even then, I shared it with the rest of the room. That is, oh, all, you all of this it. is true. Oh, it was shared. Of course I'm gonna share it. Family! Of course! Aww. That's how I roll. This is the first time you both actually got to know each other, spoke to each other, and you all broke the ice together, right? Yeah. Yeah. How did you break the ice? Was it while you were swinging on there, like, hey, I'm Zank? Yeah, hey. pretty much. How? Yeah, yeah was that's it? pretty it much was how like, it went down. What's up? Nice to meet you. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, high five. Cool, nice to meet you. All right, cool, yeah. That's kind of how we met. It was midair. So, what's one thing about so. Zach that you like, besides his looks and his abs? <laughs> I My mustache. <laughs> you know, I was going to say that. Really? The mustache is popping. Um, Thank you. No, I, I, I would say, no, I always say this, but like, I feel like there's there's like Zach Efron and then there's like Zach. You know what I mean? And yeah, he's yeah. the person that you get yeah. to know. And he's actually just like a nerd, you know? Like he's a super nerdy, and intellectual like kid inside. And it, and that's the coolest part about him. He's so he's, I always, I make fun of him for it sometimes because I'm like, okay. I don't know what you're talking about. There were like two lines in the in the song which say, when the sharpest words want to cut me down, I'm going to send a flood, going to drown them out. That's right. These lines were so powerful. I just want to ask, what is that one thing you actually struggle with in life? The one thing? Oh. Just right. one. Everybody what, has I, things I, in life. Because they only I think, gave me a certain time. <laughs> I, th I, think, I think that there's... I think the song stands for much more, much more than that. I mean, there's countless struggles that we're going to see in life. I know that on a daily basis, I can invent a new one uh, every single day. It can be the way I look that day. It can be the way I feel. It can be something I've, an upcoming project. Just the stresses of daily life can can lead you to, you know, I don't know, feel to being down. something to feel yeah. down. Yeah, um, but. I think that's an important part of life. There's a silver lining in everything. And, you know, part of being who you are is is kind of accepting those things and and accepting your failures and faults yes, yeah, as yeah. as actually triumphs because now you're still here and you have the lesson that you learned. That's the that reason I love this movie because it's all about self-acceptance. Again, just everybody's ever changing. So just yeah. continue to learn and grow. And everything starts with a thought. Everything begins and ends with a thought. Yeah, so, so it's all basically just you. It's your all based, perspective yeah. towards your life. Exactly. Yeah. How remember, you think affects yeah. your actions and all of that, right? Exactly. Always. And and also just remember you're beautiful 100%. Be oh, you. you represent oh, represent you. yourself. <laughs> And always just trust your instincts and follow uh, your heart. That's, that's a great way to end this whole interview. Thank you so of much. Course, thank you thank so, you. so much. Thank you for your energy. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen.
and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. Hi there! First question, I just want to know how are you feeling today? That is so nice of you to ask. <laughs> I couldn't be happier. I'm in my hometown. Uh -huh. I got home yesterday. I'm seeing all my family tonight at the premiere of a movie that I love, Life is Good. By the way, congratulations for being nominated. Best Thank actor. You. So proud, so, so proud. Thank you. I just want to know one thing. You've been working on this movie for about yes. seven years. Yes. Really, really long time. What is it about this movie that you wanted so much? Because I've seen you in uh, in Wolverine and that's like two different things. Like you are there scratching the blood out of people. <laughs> and then here suddenly you're singing and dancing all over the place. We have the premiere in Sydney and I'm inviting all my friends and their kids and their parents. I can't remember the last movie I did where I can say to my friends, bring everyone. I've done a lot of movies and a lot of them, even my own kids can't see. So it's really <laughs> nice to do one that is at particularly this time of year, you know, at the end of the year, Christmas, it's just fun and uplifting for everyone. What was the toughest uh, scene to actually shoot? I, mm. I see a lot of running while singing. How There's do you a lot do of that? Run. Running is not too bad. Okay. It's the dancing that's harder. Oh, it's the dancing? Yeah, anyone can run, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, it's the <clears throat> dancing that, I mean, particularly when you're dancing with the best dancers in the world who are all, like the oldest might be 28, right? And then there's me at 49. <laughs> yeah. And I'm trying to keep up with them. Great, okay, before we end, I just want to yeah. play a shot game. Have okay, let's play. Never yeah. have I ever. Never have I ever walked out of a movie because he was bad. Oh, what? Had to. Mm. Okay. I had to. I had to. Really, I was really. No, ashamed. that's not on the paper. You can't. <laughs> only that. once. Only once. Only once have I done that. <laughs> You've but never you walked out on a movie. No. Only once, though. Only once. Mm. Okay, that's the same thing, Kiala. And I'm not telling you mm -hmm. which one. Okay. Never have I ever made money performing on the street. I'm really lame. What have you done? I was Ranger Hugh walking around the streets with Kui Koala, a six foot koala bear. <laughs> what? For $10 an hour promoting the National Parks and Wildlife Foundation. Oh, that's nice. That's too bad. Guys. Yeah. Never have I ever made money performing on the street. Oh, man. Um... Seriously? Yeah. I thought you would have done that. No. Because you sing a lot. I have been doing that no, for free for a very long time. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Never have I ever pretended to like a trend just to fit in. <laughs> you see this? Just you see this? <laughs> oh, you're not! Really? No! Come on, Micah. Come on. Truth. I probably have. Oh, what? I probably have, yeah. No. When I was younger. <laughs> what exactly? What trend exactly? Are you allowed to spill that juice? Cars. Cars? Oh, okay. Okay. I Actually, think... it wasn't a fit in, I'll be honest. All my brothers and sisters had hobbies and I didn't have a hobby. I'm talking I was eight. <laughs> okay. This is not last week. And so my sister was into horses, my brother into cricket, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> so I said, yeah, well, I'm really into cars. And I bought a car magazine every week for a year. And I used to spout off facts at the dinner table. So not to fit in, but mm. to feel okay. important. Guy. The world is ashamed of us. But you put us in the spotlight. You gave us a real family. Have you no shame? Father, the world is changing. Never made a difference by being like everyone else. Ah! Oh, sorry.